conversations with God. Yeah, quite a lot of them. And in one of the books, he's, I think he said to Neil Donald Walsh that he'd had 670 yep. something incarnations. Yep. That Neil Donald Walsh couldn't remember. Um, <laughs> but he can't get it. He, he said that. So, um, does that feel like a loving process to you? Yeah. Now, look at what happened in Neil Donald Walsh's life, personal life. He went through this really cataclysmic time in his life, didn't he? Before he began communicating with the Spirit, claiming to be God. And, and this got, got a lot of beautiful information through as a result, but only because he was now focusing on his emotions, which is interesting in itself. And he began living in his passion, which caused this to process to continue. So, a lot of these teachings, the New Age type teachings, are teaching this constant process of reincarnation over and over and over again. Now, let me put, ask you another question about childhood. If today your child was three years old, and it was so high, right? And then in three years' time, your child was now six years old, but it's still so high. And then in 25 years' time, your child is what right now? 20, 31? And now it's still this high. Would you start to be worried? <laughs> Why would you be worried? Because they're not growing. What's a basic thing that we see in the world around us with regard to growth? Just constant change, isn't it? Like you see, and you can see that everything grows. Now, if something results in you not growing, is that a loving thing then? Does it make any sense from even a natural perspective? It doesn't, does it? Obviously, from a God's perspective, He created or she created everything growing, everything changing constantly. And when you grow spiritually, you are going to change. Now, people who come back have similar life, life after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Are they growing? Are they even being given an opportunity to grow? How do you grow? By learning, isn't it? By, by learning from your mistakes, your past experience. If you can't remember your past experience, how are you going to learn from it? You can't, can you? Now, some will argue, well, it's only in the spirit world that I learn from it, but, but if this is the area where you're clearing the karma, this is the area where you need to be learning from it, not there. You need to be learning from it here. Right? So, would you set up such a system? Just from a point of view of love yourself, I mean. Now, I'm not asking you to be God. I'm just asking you to ask, would you, as a person, set up this for your children? I'm sure the majority of us would. 